a deadly fire at a manufacturing company in New Jersey. Those flames this morning at Superior Signal, which makes generators and ultrasonic equipment. A 73-year-old worker was killed. Four other employees were injured. So far, though, not a lot of information about what happened. But there are lots of questions. New Jersey reporter Anthony Johnson live this evening at that scene in the Middlesex County town of Old Bridge. Anthony. Yes, Andrew, we might get some answers to those questions in just a few moments as officials are now getting ready to talk to the media. You might be able to see them off in the background. Now, actually, this explosion taking place around 1121 this morning, shaking up students and staff here at the middle school. As you said, one senior citizen is dead. Four others are injured at a business located right across from the Jonas Salk Middle School. Newscopter 7 was over the scene shortly after reports came in about a powerful blast and a raging fire. The windows to the one story business were blown out and flames were still burning following the explosion, but it led to a lockdown at the Jonas Salt Middle School. Students were allowed to leave early this afternoon. When emergency crews arrived on the scene, they were told that people were trapped inside the business known as Superior Signal. It's a company that makes smoke canisters. On its YouTube page, the company shows what kinds of products are manufactured. At this point, no one is saying what caused this morning's incident. As for the victims, a 73-year-old woman has died. A 57-year-old female suffered severe burns to her face and hands and was taken by helicopter to the burn unit at St. Barnabas Medical Center, along with a 29-year-old man with burns to his arms and hands. A 65-year-old female was taken to Robert Wood Johnson Medical Center with minor burns, and the final victim, a 62-year-old, is being treated for smoke inhalation. And at this point in time, we've been told that foul play is not involved in this explosion. That is the latest live from Old Bridge, New Jersey. Anthony Johnson, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.